Action Collision. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possess that set of skills. If I had the ability to fix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good jab. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Super! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Bazooka. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Nice hook lands. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed. That one appeared to stun him. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Air exchange in leather early. Beautiful leg kick throw. timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Look at the whip action that comes from here throwing that kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more he's going to take. Massive shot that he made. Great job. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Got his 
shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Cut him open. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight. And there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Ten seconds now in round one. Round two next. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Second round underway. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Watch the strike there. Counters with a jab. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back as well. Back morning. Back. He has landed oh. Big kick. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. Wow! Another knockdown! Oh, big left hook there. That one landed clean. Kick right up. and a great performance by this young man. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lignano is going to stop in this contest at one minute, 54 seconds of round number two. Going the winner by TKO, Bazooka!